Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? Okay, so this is a PO unboxing video. I have all of it right here. Um, plus, I wanted to show you a couple new obsessions that I recently purchased. Well, just two, I guess. Um, new obsessions that I recently purchased, so I wanna show them to you. Um, there are things that maybe you could enjoy for the summer, I don't know. I have tried to organize all of this stuff in the PO box. Um, so that when I'm going through it, it's in a certain order and I know who sent it and all that kind of stuff. And actually, some of the things that I received didn't have any notes. So if you send it to me, please put in the comment section or send me an email that you uh, sent me this item so that I can say thank you to you because I want to make sure that, um, you know, that everybody that sent me something knows that I really appreciate it. And I do want to say this, that during my absence from YouTube, I received, I mean, literally hundreds of cards you guys i still have cards over there some that i just got from the post office box and some that i still hadn't opened yet because i try to sit outside for like a half an hour you know like every day um and go through like 10 cards and read the notes and some people have sent me very long letters and were just words of endearment and i just really really appreciate it it's meant so much to me and it has especially been helpful on those days that I'm feeling down that I just kind of take a couple cards and I read them at a time. Especially like if I open a card and it's a really long letter, I try to save those for the hour that I, you know, read letters and stuff so I can read whatever. So if you've sent me a very long letter, I have read it, okay? Um, but during that absence too, I received so many gifts and things that people had sent me from books to just, I mean, unbelievable things, right? And a lot of it I have put away because we have a rather small condo. So for me just to save all those boxes to do in a huge video, it was just impossible. There was nowhere for me to do it. And a lot of the things I wanted to use, so there was no way for me just to keep it in a box because I didn't know when I was coming back to show it. And so I hope you understand that. If you sent me something during that time and I did not reach out to you, I want to say thank you so much for sending it to me. It really meant a lot to me and I don't want you to think that that went unnoticed. So um, I'm going to get into the things that I was recently sent. And going forward, every time that I get a certain amount of things, I will show them in videos either here or on my vlog. Um, okay, and, and this stuff has been actually sitting on my kitchen counter for like a week. I was like, okay, you need to do the video and you need to do it now. So um, the first thing I wanted to show you was I got, I was like looking for shoes online and I was, um, you know, I haven't bought a new pair of shoes in a while and I was like, I need something for the summer. And I was going to buy something like a nice pair of shoes. And I was like, why do you need a nice pair of shoes? So I wear these plastic Birkenstock sandals constantly. The pair that I'm wearing today are funny looking, but hey, be too much. <laughs> my neighbors, like whenever I was just outside talking to my neighbors across the street, um, he was helping me get, well, he looked inside my mailbox while I was sitting out there and he was like, you got mail. And so I went down there and I was talking to he and his wife and they were asking me if I was going to the cocktail mocktail party at the pool tonight. But, um, they all know that I wear these crazy Birkenstocks. So I have these plastic red and black and white Birkenstocks. And you can see that they're like plastic and they're water friendly. And you can get any of these on the Birkenstock website. Um, you can also, I think, get them on Amazon and stuff like that. But the Birkenstock website definitely, especially for women, has so many more styles and colors in the plastic. Now, I love a good just old school Birkenstock suede or leather. Um, and I have quite a few pairs, but I don't need any new ones because I have purchased so many through the years and they literally last forever. I also love Birkenstock clogs. I bought a pair about a year ago, um, a pair of just brown leather Birkenstock clogs and <clears throat> going to all my doctor's appointments, you know, that was the pair of shoes that I wore. So I wanted to show you, um, this is my most colorful pair that I just bought, but I bought these blue. I wanted some fun colored plastic Birkenstocks. So I bought these blue ones. And um, I mean, you know, my, my color scheme get, doesn't go much out of blue or black. I bought black, I bought blue, I bought gray. And the reason I bought another pair of black was because um, I would say that the life on these is about two years if you wear them a lot, like every day. Um, and so they had actually worn through. So I needed a new black pair and I needed a new gray pair. The black pair I wear for dressy events, like going out to dinner or something like that. If I wear shorts and a black t-shirt, I wear the black ones. So I bought a black pair. I bought 
a gray pair, I bought, bought these pair, and then I bought a navy blue pair. So those are the four pairs that I have for the summer and I wanna show you that. The other new obsession that I have is Bomba, so is it Bombas? Bombas socks, B-O-M-B-A-S. And um, Alex's best friend, Sarah, a year ago at Christmas, she bought us like the short version of them and they're so comfortable and I love them. They are expensive. So I saw these advertised and I got online and I bought these. Now I've used these, um, but I would wear these with my clogs. I don't, and I, listen, I have been converted because I am not somebody that loves socks. And I just think these are so cute. I was like, I would wear my jeans and I would kind of like hike the leg up a little bit so that like when I was going to meetings, my recovery meetings, that people could see my socks. The other thing about these is, and this is not on all Bombo socks, but some of them, they have like this padding underneath here that's like a no slip padding and I love that. So I have been very attentive to what Bombas has been selling and I purchased this collection of Bombas Merino Wool Authentic Tie Dye. And these are, you can see that I've worn some of them. And these are their tie dye socks. Now, this pair here, well, okay, there's two pairs that I've worn in here so far. And then these are the other two pairs that I have not worn. There's this purple pair of tie-dye. I love anything tie-dye, so there's that. And then the light blue pair. I think there's a, a dark blue pair and like a gray pair that I wore already. Okay, and then I also purchased, these are bomb, and they have pride socks and everything over there. Jade purple brown, and I'm just gonna take this off so you guys can see the whole thing. I haven't worn these, but <gasps> aren't those so cute? I love those. I'm all about really fun socks now. And then you have to buy these separately, but these are the 2021 Pride Collection, and these are the, uh, so it's like two different pairs of socks, do you see? How cute is that? And I got those, so. Happy Pride, and you can see they, it says Bombas, and it's like in, in Pride colors, so. I wanted to show you guys those because like I'm obsessed with it. Now I will tell you those socks are expensive, but I love them so much, okay. So that's all the things that I have purchased. Now the next thing I wanna show you, um, this was so sweet that she sent these to me and she did these. This is, uh, this is uh, from Janine and she said, to Peter, I hope you feel better soon on the back of one of them. And the other one, she's put her name and the first one says, be too much. I love these so much. And the other one says, love grows here. My, this is gonna be my thumbnail. Aren't those so pretty? They smell so good too. She must have done them. Um, not to, I know. <laughs> I do love the smell of paint. Um, she must have done them not too like long before she sent them to me because when she sent them to me, we had them in the kitchen and they've been there and like the whole kitchen smells like this paint. But they're, Janine, they're so beautiful and thank you so much for um, sending them to me. Anytime anybody like sends me artwork, we always put it up in the house. Always like we have. Um, let me see if I can move this. You can see that like up on the mantle over there, we still have artwork, I don't know if you can see it, but we have artwork of Pee, Pee and we have pictures of Pee, Pee back there. And we really haven't had anybody send us stuff from like Boo and Tucker. Um, I know Mel, my book club partner, is working on something of Tucker, but we have been sent um, so many things of Pee, Pee that we have like pictures of Pee, Pee up all over the house and stuff like that. And pictures that people have sent of um, like, you know, the dogs and Alex and I, we have those up in the house as well. So, all right, the next thing, I'm gonna go through this just one at a time. Hold on just a second. Um, I wanna make sure that I'm getting this right. So this is from, so I have it like when I get something and then they put a card, I, so I make sure that I have, I can thank the right person. This is by Dottie and Dottie sent me this book. She sent me a very, very nice card too, which says love and prayers on it. And then she sent me this book and the book is the Van Gogh Cafe by Cynthia Ryland. And it goes in and it explains all about the Van Gogh Cafe. And I think she sent this to me because we had gone to the Van Gogh exhibit. It was like actually one of the first outings that I did. And um, went to the Van Gogh exhibit, and uh, which is like an immersive kind of situation. And inside there, they actually have the Van Gogh Cafe, or what was called the Van Gogh Cafe, where he went. Um, they have it as part of the exhibit. It's very, very cool. Um, so let me see if I can, oh, I, 
my camera's over there uploading a video. <laughs> but I actually have a picture that looks kind of like this. And it's the painting that Van Gogh did of his bedroom. And you can actually sit in it and like take pictures and stuff like that. It's like, it's like a room of artwork that you go in. Not like a painting, but like, it feels like you're in a painting and it's very cool. So Dottie, thank you so much for this book. I really appreciate it. Okay. And I hope I didn't mispronounce your name, but to me it looks like Dottie. <laughs> And it was a very nice card. And your writing, your handwriting reminds me of my mom, so I wanted to say that. Okay, the next thing, and hold on a second. This is from, I think it's from, I don't know how to pronounce this name. You guys, I'm so bad with names, but I think it's Malik, and it's M-A-L-A-K, sent me this. Made with love for you, Peter. Wishing you strength and healing as you enter this new chapter. Please accept this as a reminder that you are safe, you are loved, and you are important. Thank you for having the courage to return to YouTube. Uh, your presence brings joy to so many. Please never forget how loved and supported you are. And you guys, this is so cool. Okay, so I don't know if she made this herself, but it's like all of these things that have to do with like prayer, okay? And different kinds of prayer. And you can see right here there, I wanted to keep it intact to show you, but like right here are like these prayer cards. And the first one is a serenity prayer, which is something that we say a lot in recovery. And then there's John 16, 13, Isaiah. There's all these different, different kinds of prayers in there, okay? This whole thing is just so beautifully done. I love it. And then there is this little, I don't know how I'm gonna get this out of here without hurting it being very careful. Well, it comes in a sack like this. This whole thing is put together so beautifully, you guys. So there is this little, little, little beautiful succulent. I love that so much. I'm gonna put that right there. And it comes with a little card for succulent care. All right, and then there is a candle. I just think all of this stuff just looks so earthy and it's very cool and, oh my God, it smells like a spa. Oh, and look at the wick on that. The wick is so cool, do you guys see? And then it comes with these little matches as well. I love that. Okay, and then the last thing is a mug. And then it says, and the mug says, be kind, be happy, be brave. And I love the bottom of this mug. I just have to tell you so much. Okay, so this is so pretty. Do you see this? It's like two-toned. I love that. So Malik, thank you so much. I hope I pronounced your name right. I'm so sorry if I didn't. That was an incredible gift, and I really, really love that. I have my succulent care card here in my prayers. I'm going to keep that over there. Okay. So the next thing that I received... Okay, I think this is the one where there were like several things in here. Hold on a second. Or maybe I have them on top of each other. I think I have them on top of each other. Okay. Well, I don't know. Hold on just a second. I've had the boxes up there for so long now that I don't know which ones are together or they're not. Okay, this is a card that I read. Um, okay, this all came together as a package. I think this was sold, came completely separate. And it's like a little gravestone for Tucker and it says forever in our hearts. Is that not so sweet? I love that. Somebody sent us one for PP as well. And there is, this was one of the things that there is no note. I have absolutely no idea who sent this to me. Um, so please, will you let me know? Um, and so I can say an appropriate thank you for that. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> I think we're going to put, we have the PP one, we've saved it. So I think we're going to put them as stones outside. Um, the next thing I want to, oh, well, oh, I have to get to this in a second, but the next thing, and this is another thing that has no, I am so thankful for this. And I have to tell you, I have been so waiting to open these on camera so that I can use them. Um, but I, uh, have no note for this either. So I don't know who sent me this. And this is ergonomic seat cushions. Okay. And they sent me a lumbar pillar, a pillar. <laughs> That's how we say it in Indiana, a lumbar pillar as well. And I'm so, so, so grateful for this. I gotta make sure I know how to like sit on this. Okay, so this is, you sit this up, I guess, the lumbar pillar. 
the lumbar pillar pillow you sit I mean it even has like a strap on it you sit it up against here like this oh what's this in my oh my glasses I'm sitting on my glasses so you sit on it set <laughs> set on the pillar like this oh god that feels good oh man oh I bet they work together okay and then the ergonomic seat cushion oh it has a, a I didn't have to rip it out. I could have just taken it out, but I'm not going to keep these plastic cases, so. Ah! I mean, I'm not going to keep the plastic wrap is what I meant. Okay. So then, oh, they do work together. They do work together. They slide into each other. Okay. So then this goes in the back. This goes in the front. Oh, I did it the wrong way. This goes in the back. <laughs> and you put them together, and then you sit like this. Oh. Well, it's gonna be hard to use it in this chair because it just kind of sinks down. But in the other chair, like outside, especially over there on that white chair, it's gonna be fantastic. Oh my God, thank you so much. Let me know who sent this to me because I have absolutely no idea, and that was so sweet. Okay, the next thing, I have two things left I wanna show you. The next thing is, from Becky, who has the most incredible handwriting in the entire world. And she sent me this little card of cardinals. And if you guys don't know, cardinals represent my mom coming to visit me. It's just something that she and I decided. And so she sent me here. You won't be able to read it. Here's Becky's. I don't know if you can see it. It's her card. She's like got the smallest, tiniest little handwriting in the entire world. So I read the whole card. And she talked about how she had saved. Hold on a second. This paper, oh, so I don't know if I can show this or not. <laughs> so Becky, don't get mad at me for not showing this, but she sent me something natural and agricultural. But she said that you're not supposed to like, and no, it's not the marijuana, it's okay. She sent me a flower, but she was basically like, you're not supposed to like send this flower or whatever. And then she sent me this paper that she's had for a really long time and she thought that maybe I wanted to put it as background to like a picture for Tucker or something like that, which I thought was so sweet. And I mean, she put it in this like whole package and everything. Look at this. And then if you guys remember, I have it right over there in the drawer, the CD that somebody sent me that's like Peter Mon, Dad AF, that's supposed to be like the CD of all my favorite songs. Well, that was Becky that sent it to me. And she sent me a new CD. Um, and it was just supposed to be of all of her favorites, but it ended up being, um, I mean, there are so many songs in this CD, you guys. Um, she told me I could look at the playlist or I could be surprised. I actually looked at the playlist, which is, so anyway, it ended up being like this CD of inspiration for her. And she said, don't look at the track list if you want to be surprised by the music. Um, and then she said the CD covered in flowers opens first. Enjoy. So thank you so much, Becky. That was so awesome. And then she sent me these bracelets, which I love. And the first bracelet says, Hold on a second. I will get through this. And it's so pretty. It's like a beaded necklace. And the other one, she left blank so that I could just have whatever kind of meaning that I wanted to have to it. Is that not so cool? I love that so much. So thank you, Becky. I really, really appreciate it. Okay. Now, in past videos, I have gone through and shown all this kind of stuff, but I don't know. I might save this and do an entirely different video for this. So let me open this note first of all. This is from Lauren, who said that she has a nine month old mini golden doodle that she named Scout because I have Boo Radley from To Kill a Mockingbird. And she wrote me this whole note and it was very, very sweet. But let me show you. So she said that she, where she lives, they have these things called Haymart or H Mart, okay? Which we do not have in the United States. And I think, well, I'll read you what she said about that. I wanted to send you some fun snacks for you to try from H Mart. Not sure if you have H Mart in Indiana, but here in New York, it's big. H Mart, H -Mart is a grocery chain that sells tons of Korean and Japanese foods, snacks, and delicacies. I've included some of my faves. The koalas are so good and some other snacks I thought that might be interesting. And then she suggested maybe I do it on my review channel. So I might do that. But this is everything, you guys, this is incredible what she sent me, okay? This is like everything that she has sent me. I mean, that might be my thumbnail. 
<laughs> I mean, this is unbelievable, but I don't, the problem is I don't know what any of these things are. <laughs> so I don't know that I want to try them, especially because I don't know if they have like meat or things in them. I mean, I know the sugar things don't. And here are the koala things, and I've actually tried these before. They're really, really good. So, and she's got, and she, these little, what are these? Honey, chrysanthemum, tea drink. Oh my Lord. I'm gonna put those in the refrigerator. So many cool things. Oh, she sent me veggie. Okay, so these are like soon veggie noodles. And stir fried kimchi. These do not look like the vegetarian, but they might be, I'll have, to, I'll have to look at everything and see. So anyway, so much good stuff, Lauren. Thank you so much, I really, really appreciate it. And, ugh! The power of editing. And that's everything. So anyway, thank you guys so much for sending me this stuff. Don't ever feel like you have to send me anything. Uh, just like my video if you want to, or just watch my video, and that will be enough. And I love you guys so much, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.